Good evening, Professor Maria and partners. Today I have the pleasure to present to you guys my PowerPoint about non-traditional uh, art, which is graffiti and virtual art. As you can see here, we have the introduction. In the following slides, we are going to see a brief information about graffiti and virtual art and how it has influenced in our society nowadays. As you can see, here we have a little example about graffiti and virtual art where on the left side you can see like a wall with a graffiti art and on the right side we can see a guy using like a type of uh, binoculars or remote and connected to a computer where he can see different um, virtual environments. So what is graffiti? Graffiti is writing or drawing made on a wall or other surface, usually without permission and within public view. Graffiti ranges from simple written words to elaborate wall paintings and has existed since the ancient time, including the Egypt, Greece, Asian times, and also the Roman Empire. We can say that graffiti is a controversial subject. Why? It is a controversial subject due to the fact that most countries consider it as vandalism, which can be a punishable crime, but we have to recognize that not all graffiti are gang marks territory. The term graffiti comes from the Italian word graffiato, which in English means scratched. So in other words, we can say that graffiti is a communicative tool for social visibility. On the other hand, we have here the meaning of visual, virtual art. What is virtual art? Virtual art is a term for the virtualization of art made with the technical media developed at the end of the 1980s or a bit before in some cases. Virtual art can be considered a post-convert art form based on the bringing of art and technology together which is very useful nowadays you see many of those works uh, most of the times in let's say let's say the fashion or any place where you can find us this activity Virtual can be virtual art can be seen in the world like a second life, where the virtual environment has wonderful um, offers for the avatar, because anything inside here is possible for the user. In this case, the user is the represented avatar, which has a lot of. Uh, abilities that he, can, he or she can use during the process of the virtual art. It's influence in our society. So here we have that graffiti, even though a lot of people consider it as a vandalism, it has been said that graffiti in our society, culture, or country in general has created a great impact. On the other hand, virtual art, 
It is mainly a feature of digital arts related with a new world available due to technological evolution. So I believe that here the main the main mission or object about the influence is to give beauty to the city and also leave your fingerprints in the whole country. Uh, whether you do it with graffiti art or virtual art. Also, their other mission can be give life and color to the streets of Panama or any other country. A study said that uh, possibly in a few years or more, we don't know exactly, um, that Panama can become a country with a gallery of, of street art due to the fact that in many areas in Panama you can find graffiti all over. Okay, so the important graffiti and street art and body cultural significance to its individualistic nature, though its ability to beautify and enhance public spaces. That's what I mentioned to you guys before. Bill, sorry, I did a little mistake here. Virtual art is a fundamental component of the human experience reflecting the world and the time in which we live. In my opinion, I believe that whether you create art through graffiti or virtual art, it leads people to, to express their feeling, their imagination, ideas, emotions, excitement, planted on a wall or a machine that can allow you and many others to see uh, the same perspective that you see. Uh, it also leads people to focus and entertain on what they are doing or seeing. By this, by this way, we can say that people can capture the simple thing and also they can acquire this valuable information, which is science and technology keep advancing every single day and even better to offer us wonderful things. Now we have the advantages of both. Here we can see that graffiti um, brings art to the public, it brightens up the area. It is part of education. It also raises an uh, area profile and it is valuable form of self-expression, which is something I mentioned as well in, uh, in the previous slide. In the virtual art, it is very popular worldwide. It's also popular in video games and it promotes entertainment. The disadvantages, graffiti, um, some graffiti are very offensive. Some people believe that it is very offensive, um, very um, uh, racious, but like I said before, not all, um, sorry, the word is racist. But like I mentioned before, not all graffiti are gang men territory. It is just culture and to give life to the streets of any other country, including Panama. Um, it also can cause damage to decorative or delicate surfaces. People consider it as a bad influence on children. On the other hand, virtual art, it can be frust frustrating. It also has unlimited possibility. There's no original copy. 
and also it relies on a completely different skill than traditional art does. Conclusion. To conclude, I can say that people have different perspectives when it comes to art, whether it is graffiti or virtual arts. Seeing it from an optimist perspective, we can see that art surrounds us in various ways and each one has their own way to be unique and identified. Thank you for, for watching.